Hey everyone, my name is DJ Forever Play, and I'm going to use this audio in my vlog channel and my life story channel because this actually happened to me and it's kind of ridiculous on what happened. Now back in late July this year, for some reason I started getting dizzy spells, wasn't coherent and I was very weak, like my energy just depleted and when I'm just trying to transfer to my wheelchair it felt like I ran a marathon. I'm out of breath. And so I said, look. So July 17th, which was a Sunday, I called 911. And they came over, did some tests on me, asking how I'm doing. So I'm like, look, I tell me what's going on, and I said I, I need to go to my hospital. But they said, oh, they couldn't take me to my hospital. I said, why? It's like, oh, it's not on our, on our routes, and we can only take you to the nearest hospital. And I was like, ah, oh, man. So they took me to this hospital called University Hospital. I really didn't want to go there, but it's the nearest hospital. And it took just as long to go there than to my main hospital. So I get up there to the emergency room. They check me in. And already I can see I'm going to be irritated. I sat there, you know, between doctors seeing me and they doing an examination in the emergency room hallway. I sat there, laid there for 18 hours until I can get a room. I was so frustrated. I'm complaining. I was like, this is inhuman. What's going on? Oh yeah, why you treat me like this? I mean, I'm sick and everything. What the hell? And so they finally gave me the room. And I said, okay. But it's a crazy room. We got some crazy sectional designs going on. And I had one roommate. You know, he was cool. And I was just like miserable. And it was I couldn't eat anything because they need to do some test work. And I was just, just miserable in there. And it was cold as hell up in there. I mean, I know at the time it was like really messed up with the weather, you know, 90 degree weather's outside. But it was freezing in that hospital. And they got to put all these, um, heart monitors on me and EKG stuff now I don't like all that sticky stuff on me come to find out they misdiagnosed me talking about I had something in my blood I said well, what's in my blood it was like uh, uh, something that's on the skin that shouldn't have been in your blood I was like you're not telling me much so they gave me this kind of concoction in my in my uh what you call it and it made me itch the stuff made me itch and I'm telling them like yo I'm itching so they had to give me some Benadryl it was like I kind of subsided for a little bit but then come to find out I was itching in my sleep so I'm 
in my sleep, I'm pulling off those uh, sensors and stuff, and I almost pulled out my catheter. <sighs> and also, to make a long story short, the first time they tried to um, dialyze me, they talk about they can't do it. So I had too many clots. I was like, what? So instead of trying to take care of the clots and, you know, um, find another solution on, you know, unclotting my blood, they want to replace the catheter. And that's pain itself. And there's one new guy, and the one guy he did it, it was it was okay. I ain't had much pain. But with the stuff that made me itch, and I'm trying to pull out the catheter, they had to change it again. So this new young guy, he doing the catheter, and it was pain, pain, pain. I'm like, I really want to get the fuck out of here. Why does everybody treat me like some fucking bullshit? Oh, and it was so much. It was like uh, they gave me that concoction again, and I was itching again, and I, they had to strap my hands to the bed. So I woke up, and my hands were strapped, and then they trying to feed me something, you know. Oh, I'm going to feed your food. I'm like, what was this? You know, the potatoes was okay, but they trying to feed me some other shit. And I said, no, 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 I don't want that. No, no, spit it out. So I was there for 10 days, yeah, 10 days, it was like a prison, and, and, I, and I started refusing to do things, and then one nurse came, and she just told me what's going on, and she, you know, just talked to me, that's the one thing, the nurses over there are real rude, I don't know how to do shit. I was angry as hell. <sighs> but all he had to do was talk to me. And so after the 10th day, I got discharged. It took a long time to discharge me. But I was finally home. But I was still feeling weird and, and dis dizzy and disoriented. So I had to go to my hospital. My hospital. In which they found I had blood clots in my chest and my arm. And they gave me the correct medicine and now I'm feeling better. I will never, ever, 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 ever go back to that university hospital. Unless I'm shot or anything like that, I'll never, ever go back there again. They told me, oh, come back oh, for a... Um, uh, follow-ups. I am never going back there again. So help me God. That is the most crazy, understaffed, over, over bloated hospital ever. And I'll never go back there again. Thank you for listening to this story. That is like a horror story from hell. Ten days of horror. And I, I didn't even eat anything for ten days. <laughs> Go figure.